I'm tired though, man. What's up, man? What, what we got going off for like I feel like the in, the industry like slowed down since uh Drake and Kendrick right. and then did well Diddy. Uh yeah. I feel like the industry slowed down. That Diddy shit is crazy though. I had a I had a conversation with my cousin the other day and she was asking uh a question. Um, and I'm gonna concur with you first. Yes, the industry seems to be slowing down. I don't necessarily say I I, I want to rephrase that. It's not slowing down, it's gearing up for the summer. So, like the industry's trying to figure out what records are gonna be the records to get people in the clubs, what's gonna get people excited, you know what I mean? So everybody's kind of dropping the, the these individual like party records here, there, and the third. But uh my cousin was saying it was asking me a question. She called me and was like, Yo, you gotta talk about this on your pod. I'm like, What's the question? She like, yo. Uh, is the West Coast really more unified than every other part of the country? Because they always seem to have one person that stands out beyond everybody else. And I was just like, nah, I don't feel like that's the case. I said, and then she was like, well, why? I'm like, well, first of all, I said the West Coast is is looks more unified and it looks like it has one person because they might have one particular person that's doing commercialized records. I said, but the West Coast has a lot of super popular artists. They just move individually. I said, number two, the West Coast is less prone to drama because of gang culture. Not saying that they don't have drama. It's just that they, they are accustomed to not talking about it. And if there is somebody that's talkative, they normally have somebody that'll snatch their ass up before niggas go too far. Even with game, game can go a little bit every now and then he'll jump out, but then he'll shut the fuck up because that's just a part of the culture. West East Coast niggas and down South niggas, you know what I mean? We ain't got gang culture like that. Meaning that like we just do dirt and then we talk shit because it's not like we got a whole 200 niggas behind us doing illegal shit. There might be three of us doing some illegal shit and we just dumb ass niggas. We don't know how to shut the fuck up. But the West Coast, nothing like that. But uh, and playing that into what's going on this summer, I feel like everybody's trying to figure out what's the move. You know, Schoolboy Q dropped an album early this year, about to go on tour. Uh, Tim's going on tour. Childish Gambino re-dropped an album he, he dropped five years ago redropped it last week dropped the tour dates like everybody's gearing up baby you know what i'm saying i feel like you just got to tap into whatever the things you love you know what i mean no i mean i don't know i wouldn't i don't know enough to say if it's more uh stru- you said structured or together like unified what was that the word yeah yeah I I, i'm I was just, yeah connected i would say i use the term connected because like if i'm a crip let's use an example if i'm a crip and people know that I'm a crip. If I'm talking about drama that's going on between me and another crip organization or another blood organization, guess what? Me saying fuck you means I got a thousand other crips that's gonna go and do some wild shit in my name because it's all about the brand. So I'm I know the power of me saying fuck somebody. So I'm more prone to not say nothing at all. And if we're gonna do some drama, we're gonna do it off camera. And we're not going to talk about it. That is not something that's going to happen. That's why you'll hear some smaller crips and people, they'll be on YouTube talking and then telling little stories, but they're, you're never going to get the big names doing that. I don't know if it's, I mean, I, I would, I don't know if I would say it's more unified, but again, I really don't know enough to like, to, to give my two cents, but I'm going to try from my, mm-hmm. just from what I've seen. One, I think is, is, is back to what, what Cam said on, uh, uh, what was it? Let's get the, what is this podcast name? Let's get this straight. I forgot. Yeah. But yeah, it's kind of what Cam said. We don't rep West, like we don't rep East Coast. You feel me? So I think because they rep West Coast, it what seems, it seems like it's more unified. One, right? But another thing mm-hmm. is, bro, we are five hours away, three hours behind. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Three hours ahead. So I think, yeah, three hours ahead. So we not really, it's hard for us to keep up what's going on over West Coast, right? So yeah, so when it's so what happens is when they do have artists that get to the the, to the east coast that we hear and that we like and that we listen to it's kind of like they stand out there's like an outlier because we don't hear it as much if that makes sense so it could seem like it's more unified we have artists for days i mean you think about it <clears throat> instead of us saying like east coast we got people saying brooklyn like and that's inside of new york they don't even that and like they don't even represent like new york like if you know somebody from new york they'd be like no nah, i'm from brooklyn i'm from harlem like they stand on where they from you get what I'm saying? So I could see how it might look more unified because they are repping a whole coast, West Coast. Now, nah, we represent where we from over here. Like, I'm from Baltimore. Like, I'm not, you won't catch me saying Maryland. You won't catch me saying the DMV. You know what I'm saying? Like, even in the DMV, like, they, they got an ar- argument of who's in a DMV and who is not. And I think that does hurt us when it comes uh, comes to music, m- musically, because 
when we talk about these labels, I don't think, and this is my personal opinion, I don't think that these labels are looking at it, are breaking it down like we are breaking it down, which give us a disadvantage. I think the labels are looking at regions. So when we're talking about Baltimore, we're talking about that region, right? When we're talking about New York, we might be talking about New York, Jersey, like you know what I'm saying, like I think they're talking about a region. As far as mm -hmm. us as individuals, we ind individualize everything. On the West Coast, I think it seems like they're more unified because, again, we're just so far away from, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, it's a five hour flight, like three hour difference. We're not really as, 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 as in tune with them. The same with back in the day when <laughs> down South and up North, think about it. That's why the whole, um, when, um, I think it was Andre 3000 had came out, he said, yo, the South got something to say. Why? Because us up North guys or in the industry, we never cared about nobody else, but New York, right? Mm -hmm. We talk about the Mecca of hip hop. We never even thought about nobody else. So I think it's just, it's still is a similar way. Now, I think that the West Coast is like, nah, we got something to say. But they always felt like that. They always felt like they was the outliers, just like back in the day when the South felt like they was the outliers. Now, you see the South is taking over hip hop. The same with West Coast. We see more rappers from the West Coast getting on and really putting a stamp of uh, where they from. Oh yeah, I, I definitely respect that. I, I definitely hear what you're saying, and and to a certain extent, you are you are you are kind of correct. And from my perspective, I'm really speaking on. Okay, so my cousin cousin's question was about who the hot, who's the hottest artist, who's the most uh like dominant. If we're talking about you know visibility, so like when it comes down to visibility, how do we make that judgment of who's hot? Who is the news talking about all the time? Who is TMZ always talking about? Who is Shave Room always talking about? Who's Double XL? Who's you know all the all of the popular uh, media outlets? Who is constantly on the front page? And normally, the people that are constantly on the front page are either they are uh, making huge accomplishments musically, meaning that they're topping the charts, they're running the radio. You know what I'm saying? They're they're doing big numbers, they're doing large concerts. So either you're doing big numbers. And on business side or there's drama drama helps determine somebody's heat level the more if the more blue face <laughs> is beating up people or you know having stuff with his girlfriend it puts people into he puts him into the forefront of people's faces and people assume that he's hot because he's constantly online constantly people are talking about him he's the subject of conversation subsequently that drives people to book him for shows tv shows you know music festivals it's not even about the records. But I like, don't I, think, I, I mean, I don't, I don't think that, and maybe this is my bias. I, okay. And, and, and maybe this is how the South felt and how uh, West Coasters feel. I don't think I will ever say somebody from the West Coast is the hottest. Like, yeah, I mean, in different times, I would say Ooh. maybe like we just coming off the Drake and, uh, and Kendrick Lamar beef, right? Kendrick mm -hmm. Lamar clearly won. So yeah, at this moment, is he's the hottest right now? Yeah, but shit. Drake not even from the United States. He's from Canada. So are, are we categorizing him as the West? I mean, an East Coast rapper? No. Like so, I I don't think I've ever looked at it and be like, yo, it's a West Coast rapper that's the hottest. To be honest, I I just thought about it like who's hot. Like even um, it was a uh, it was a time where I guess New York was like uh, who runs like who's the king of New York, right? Again, they talking about who's the king of New York, right? We're not talking about like who's the king of hip hop. Like that's just the conversation that they that that, that they were having. Again. I, I don't know. I don't think I've ever looked at it like, yo, uh, he, ex for the exception of Atlanta, that's, I think that's the only time I looked at it like, yo, this particular area is running shit. Cause for all that, we would have been said, uh, Virginia was running shit. If you want to be technical, what they had is Missy Elliott from Virginia, Pharrell, uh, mm -hmm. the clips. Like, I don't think I've mm -hmm. ever heard somebody said like Virginia is running it. Chris Brown, um, you know what I'm saying? Like it's Michael Vick. Can't, like, I mean, that's not rap, but I don't think I've ever heard somebody say specifically. The only time I've really heard that is when it came to Atlanta, because it was it was such a like a, explosion. a power explosion. Yeah, so it was like, mm -hmm. damn, no, nah, Atlanta is really running this. I don't think I've so, ever said that about the West Coast. Maybe I don't know. Now I, I respect that. Who's the biggest hip hop artist on the planet right now? I mean. Recent Snoop D O Double G is the biggest hip hop artist on the planet. <laughs> you want to know why? why? When my grandmother was alive twenty years ago, she knew who Snoop was. My mom know who Snoop does. My dad know who Snoop does. There is no person on the planet that does not know who the fuck Snoop Dogg is. Snoop Dogg can get booked anywhere on this planet. 
and go crazy. Now, I'm not going to say Drake ain't that nigga too, but Drake ain't getting Martha Stewart TV shows and yo, Snoop has done movies all over the place, TV shows everywhere. He got all type of products, endorsements from everywhere. He is universally beloved by every person, every artist. Everybody got a dream of, I want to go smoke one with Snoop. I've heard that so many times. It's ridiculous. Nobody has ever said, yo, I just want to go hang with Drake. Bro, we you have go- whole conversations around, would you take 500000 or a dinner with Jay-Z? Like, that's a thing, you know? Like, we've been talking about that for the last few that years now. Thing. And I'm not trying to say that Jay ain't the man. Don't do that, because Jay is my personal current favorite artist. But I can never say... And I think Jay-Z would tell you out of his own mouth that Snoop is bigger than him as far as celebrity. We're talking celebrity. We're not talking record sales, even though he's close for the record sales. But if you're talking about like celebrity, celebrity power, visibility, bro, he posted, yo, I give up smoking. And it made fucking international headlines. All he said is, I'm done smoking. And guess what? They had think pieces. Is this a trick? Oh, is he really stopping smoking? Oh, my God. The end of the world. And what happened? I don't think, he, dropped goddamn, I think, he dropped the grill. I wouldn't, was, say, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't contribute that to his. I mean, part of that, a lot of that is to his celebrity, right? But mm-hmm. I would contribute that more so to how good at branding he is like that's his Agreed. brand smoking is who Agreed. he is so, but, but i wouldn't I, I don't think i would have that line up with him being the biggest you said biggest celebrity rapper like he's the biggest rapper yeah, yeah biggest rapper biggest rapper of all time of all Come on, time. Bro. classic classic albums multiple classic albums classic tours songs that we all love Come on, bro. I don't think I would say Snoop Dogg is the biggest rapper of all time. Let me ask you. Do you know uh, at least one record off of his first album? I'm pretty sure I'll probably know one if you... Could. If the beat started, you could rap the, you could rap the lyrics. Probably not all of them. Let's go to yeah. it. And pull it you, up. <laughs> all right. Let's say, let's say Snoop Doggy Dog. Snoop, oh, Snoop Doggy Dog. Doggy Dog. Yeah, I, mean, I know the chorus because, like, that's been playing in movies and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I know that. You know what I'm saying? But does, it, does that not contribute to the power of the artist? It's like, I keep telling you, hey, I'm giving you all of the reasons why. You go, yeah, but what uh, uh, what a. Uh. All right. So, if all right, I'll take that. I'm going to take what you just said. I get it. You feel as though Jay Z is bigger. Why? Give me your pitch. I, I don't. I, I didn't say that just yet. Oh, okay. All right. All right. All right. So but, who who is your who do you elect to be the biggest artist on the planet? It's like as far as rap. I'm not trying to get into Taylor Swift and all of that shit because that's not my world. Damn, this is a a crazy question to just freestyle. I don't, <laughs> damn, I, I, I didn't say this job. I really we think gotta walk back to this. I think it's subjective. I, and, and, and I'm, I'm going to tell you why I fight for Jay-Z. I fight okay. for Jay-Z because when, kind of what you said, like your, your, your mother and them love Snoop Dogg, right? The same. Mm-hmm. I feel like Jay-Z was able to win, win multiple different audiences in different ways at different times. Mm-hmm. And this is why I personally love Jay-Z over a Nas, right? I feel like Jay-Z was able to adapt over time, kind of similar to Lil Wayne. But I think if, if anything, he did it better. Because I remember when Lil Wayne first went pop, a lot of us didn't really like it. It was a time, and I don't care what nobody said, it was a time where a lot of people was criticizing Lil Wayne and the music that he was making. Even when Lollipop came, even though I think that might be his best, sell- his highest selling record, when it first mm-hmm. came, we did not like it at first. A lot of people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, with Jay-Z, however, in my perspective, it was a time where all of the like 80s babies, so I remember 80s babies was a thing. Like 80s and 90s is not that far, but I remember like we used to make it a thing. Like they 80s babies used to make it a thing, right? Mm-hmm. And they used to say they love Jay-Z. And they'd be like, man, because he was this guy, he's so drug, he's selling CDs out the back of his trunk. Like he really was a hustler. I ain't know nothing about that. I'm like, I can't relate. I don't know shit about uh reasonable doubt. I, mm-hmm. Hey, I can't, you get what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. I can tell you 444 is probably one of the my favorite albums. And a lot of people don't and a lot of people don't think that's a classic. To me, that was great. I think Jay-Z was the perfect example of like dominating different generations. Because now Jay-Z is one of my favorite rappers. 
And I mm -hmm. think about it like this. I can't reasonable doubt what uh I think he had um uh part two. Uh, what was the album? Mm -hmm. I can't really tell you nothing about none of them songs, right? Like uh, it's it's a couple other albums that is like, damn, he 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 dropped something on that. I can't tell you about it. I can go from the blueprint, the black album, even like I don't even remember the black album, album part two. I like it's it's albums that I can't, but I know I can name albums that I love. The blueprint, the black album, shit, uh a uh, 444 album, the one he did with Kanye West, uh, the one with the three lines, like, bro. So for him to be able to do that, that's why I would say he's the biggest artist because I know a time where it's people that's much older than I kissed the ground that Jay-Z walked on. And at that mm. time, I didn't know nothing about Jay-Z, to be mm. real. And then that okay. on top of the businesses that he done, right? The 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 the, the partnerships that he done with the with the Douce, with the, um, what's the, 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 the Champagne? The um, mm -hmm. Ace, Ace, Ace Spades. Spades. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Then we, we uh, can't title. Title. Gotta have title. We can't mm -hmm. ignore. We can't ignore. Look, look at his wife, right? Beyonce. We people reference the internet as Beyonce's internet. If that ain't impact and cultural impact, I don't know what is. They work. They. I know you ain't saying this on Beyonce's internet. That is crazy. That's his wife. <laughs> That's his wife. <laughs> I'm not going to I'm not going to allow you. Yo, we, we are stricken in Beyonce from the record, <laughs> sir. I will not allow that to be put on this because then it's going. This is going, that just that unfairly sways that, that unfairly sways the audience. We're really talking about individual accomplishments. But that's an accomplishment. The, not you, you aren't judged by the, the woman that you pull up with. You are. But that nah, yo, that's unfair, yo. Hey. Nah, I, ain't, I ain't letting it ride. I'm not letting it ride, yo. All right. Now, I, I'm going to throw some stuff on your side. I, you know, Snoop never had a museum redone uh, to talk about Jay-Z's history. So, like, we can put that on Jay-Z's side. Like, he literally had, they did an exhibition with a whole, you know, library was a, was a, was a Jay-Z museum, the Book of Hove, for six months. Mm. That was lit. So you give him that, you know what I'm saying? Uh, creating a streaming platform during the early days of streaming so that artists can get paid fairly super impactful uh him bringing together like some of the top artists of all time of that time period to have them invest in it that's that's lit okay i get you on that i love that i could go down list of stuff with jay-z that would be like yo i'm saying it's neck and neck i just feel like snoop edges him out because snoop is still active making music dropping music and bringing people together he just bought back Death Row Records. And then, like I was telling my cousin yesterday, do you know that he re-signed everybody that used to be on Death Row with the exception of Dr. Dre? Danny Boy, The Dog Pound, Sugar Free. You know what I'm saying? Like, he bringing in, he bringing back everybody that used to be a part of Dog Pound, I mean, excuse me, a part of Death Row from the 90s, and then re and have them re-releasing albums in 2024. So, let me tell you this. Crazy shit. Go ahead. And, and I know the internet going to take this whatever. <laughs> Outside of hip hop heads, we don't give a damn about none of them niggas you just named. But let me tell you who we do care about. Jay-Z, who he born on? Kanye West. Jay-Z, mm -hmm. who else he born on? Rihanna, one of the biggest mm -hmm. artists to this date. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you mm -hmm. named all, okay, mm -hmm. cool. The hip hop heads love it. All right, all right. If we're gonna talk about that, who the Snoop, who the Snoop help get up out of the out of the dumpster? Bow Dr. Wow. Dre. Oh, oh, Dr. Dre. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yo, if you want to say it like that, Bow Wow. Who found it? Bow Wow. Like, come on, bro. Yo, that, don't act like Snoop. Yo, who helped help save a whole record label, Snoop? Because yeah, you know I mean, Snoop went over the goddamn no limit. Turned that bitch the fuck what up. What does man. he say? He said, "Bro, man, so many millionaires, billionaires came from our tree. Billionaires." Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So listen, what I'm listen, man. What I will give the edge a little bit to Snoop Dogg because he's a personality. He has a mm -hmm. great personality. Jay Z, not mm -hmm. so much, right? Mm -hmm. But even that, and we being real, we're talking about the biggest artists of all time. Mm -hmm. Jay Z owns businesses. Snoop mm -hmm. Dogg works for people. Snoop Dogg owns businesses. But Let's works, not do that. He works for people. At, yeah, the things that, the thing, the thing that we love about him, he's he's working for WWE. He's working for for like he's, he's working for people. He's got there's a lot of stuff that he's a part of that he's got equity in. He just don't talk about it all the time. You just gotta pay attention, bro. He got a lot of stuff going on. Same thing with Shaquille O'Neal. People don't be yeah. understanding. Nah, Shaquille O'Neal on a lower billion for real. He just don't talk about nah, it. Nah, he talk he, about it. He talk about it. No, nah, he, he owns Reebok, nigga. Yeah. He ain't just no executive. They do that shit just to be cute, nigga. He owns, he got equity nah, in Papa John's. Papa John's, nigga. yeah, yeah. 
no, he owns Reebok outright. He's got deep equity in and Papa John. We talking this about thing dog, Yeah, 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 yeah. But all uh, right, but still, like I'm saying, I'm not going to allow you to, to 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 mess with the dog. The dog got his business right. But to Don't say get he's it. the biggest artist. Yes, we're to, I, and I'm only saying out of like celebrity bandwidth, like like touch visibility, the, like how people. He had a murder charge. He was signed to a company called Death Row. This nigga used to be the biggest gangster in the world. Old ladies love, little kids love. Like, come on, bro. There's a lot of kids that don't know nothing about no goddamn Jay-Z, but they know a whole hell of a lot about Snoop Dogg, bro. Come on, man. That's just the reality of it. <laughs> now, who's got better music? I'm going to go with Jay. Come on, bro. If we're going to talk about who's got better business, I'm going to go with Jay. But who is... Like, all right, if we on the red carpet, nah, I ain't gonna say that because then because Jay Z kind of it almost kind of matches up because his the fact that he don't show up like that when he do show up, people kind of go crazy. Like, hoes, hov don't be everywhere. So if he come up, it's gonna be a moment. But hov when, when, is married to Beyonce. Hov cheated. Hov cheated on Beyonce. I, I, I listen, that you brought listen, Beyonce. A few listen, minutes. listen. Hov cheated on Beyonce and got away with it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, shout out to Raw Dope, man. He's about Snoop, definitely a big deal. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Maybe nice Ice Cube or Ice T. Um, nah, nah, nah. Ice T and Ice Cube had their own thing. Hell no, no limit was turned up before Snoop. Uh, you know, it's 